Hello there, this is a preview of the last antique sale of the year for us. So this is on the 12th and 13th of December. It's our two day art and antique sale. This is the first year that we've done our two day sale and it's worked out really well. I've really enjoyed doing these every month this year and it just seems to be the natural thing to do, to do them in a two day auction. So this, as I said, is the last one of the year. So we're just going to walk around and show you a few things that uh, stand out to us. I'm going to show you a few of the, uh, the general antiques and then Will is going to take over and show some of the watches and silver and jewellery. And that's really the highlight of this sale. Some fantastic things to look at. Uh, we're starting off in the small garden section here at the back of the sale room. So we've got this pair of magnificent um, Chinese lions that have come from a local house. We collected these, these were indoors in this house. Um, they are carved stone. I think these are alabaster. They have a sort of real sparkly stone um, effect to them, but they're not cast, these are, are carved. So I should think these are probably going to be, um, they're going to date to 19, probably 1920s or 30s, something like that, or this auto early 20th century. Difficult things to value, really. I think the estimate is sort of between 500 and 1,000 pounds, but they are extremely heavy and beautifully carved, and they should be quite popular things. Behind it is this Indian carving here. So this, again, is carved stone, and it's a beautiful thing, and it's on a solid lump of wood there as well. Um, quite fairly modern, this, I should think, so probably only maybe 20 or 30 years old, but similar sort of estimate, five to 800, something like that. I think that's really nice, I like that. And a magnificent cannon here as well. Again, that's fairly modern, but nicely weathered. Very nicely green there as well. Again, it, it's really heavy. <laughs> maybe two or 300 as an estimate for that one. And we'll continue down here. Some furniture in this sale. This Victorian um, chemist's cabinet with a clock in the top as well in the dispensing department. It's quite smart, isn't it? That's going to be probably 800 to 1,000 or so. And it's double-sided, this one. So around the other side, you've got um, drawers and cupboards and shelves. So you'd have to put this down the middle of the room. It's meant to go down the centre of the room. Harry Bertoia chairs here, fashionable things. Probably sort of 250, 300 pounds. Really lovely Art Deco walnut desk there. And a nice heels type um, desk chair next to it. Georgian chairs, some of the cottles in the house desk. There's some lovely scrolls here as well. It's a whole collection of Chinese scroll paintings. And this one here, just goes on and on. It's about 40 feet long. It's all hand painted. Just a continuous scene. And uh, so that whole lot here is all, all sorts of <laughs> scroll paintings there. Good set of Chippendale style dining chairs here. Set of 12 of these. They're quite um, nice, solid, usable chairs. Good time of year to be selling these. Christmas, and we've got a whole collection of um, uh, designer silk scarves, some vintage silk there as well, and ties and handbags and all sorts here. All varied collection, didgeridoo. <laughs> selection of things this time. Then in the front cabinets we've got um, some antique pistols down here and uh, Baccarat glass. A lovely German castle shaped clock here. Good looking thing. We saw one similar to this, but slightly smaller a few months ago. So it's a French gilt bronze 
um, casket with Sayre of porcelain plaques and little jewels around the edge as well, but beautifully painted. And the estimate on that is six to eight hundred. I think the one that we sold earlier on in the year probably made, I think that made about um, just over a thousand pounds when it was slightly smaller than that. So that one should do as well. Beautiful um, Japanese vase here. This, this is a silver and cloisonne enamel vase. And unusually, it's in good condition. You usually have a dink in the enamel. <laughs> but that one looks all right. It's a good sized vase, isn't it? And that's um, probably going to be sort of, what's that, around a thousand pounds or so, 800 to a thousand. And there's a, uh, a Quentin Bell um, studio pottery jug there. Very well known studio potter there, and he's signed it underneath as well from the Fulham Pottery. So that should be two to three hundred pounds at least. Sold a number of things by Quentin Bell over the last year. Obviously, as usual, we've got lots of paintings in this sale. So, um, they, they come up for sale on the Thursday. So lots to look through on our website there. And toys and games in this sale as well. So I'm just gonna hand you over to Will next, who's just gonna show you some of the interesting silver that we have this time and jewellery and watches. So we'll just change over now. Right, welcome back. So um, the first, first of the few bits I'm going to show you here um, are by the Russian maker Karl Fabergé. Um, a lot of his, his items are quite rare and don't often turn up at auction, but somehow we've got three items of his, all from three separate vendors. So um, if you take a closer look in here, these are the three items. So um, we'll start here on the right one, which is lot 516. So this is green enamel and silver, and it's a bell push. So that's how it works there. But they're all fantastic quality pieces here. A very well-known Russian maker. And this one, lot 557, is a really good quality box. Sadly, it's, it's been a bit, bit roughed about over the years. It's lost a bit of enameling here and there. And this, this gold rim is sort of starting to lift as well. But it's a really fantastic quality box. And this one has been saved from the charity shops as well. So, <laughs> so it was, was bound for, for a charity shop, but luckily one of our chaps out in the van managed to, managed to get, it, get it back. But it's a really good quality, good quality item now, and I'm not sure how much work needs to be done to get it back to its original state and how, how much that would cost, but still, you don't really see these often. And this last piece here, here lot 590, is a hat pin with an enameled hoop on the top and then a diamond ring around it there. So they're all tiny chip diamonds on this central band. And again, all by Carl Fabergé. The hat pin should be around six to eight hundred. Um, we're saying around five to eight for the box, because it's, it's still a fantastic quality piece. Um, but who knows, it could, could well make a thousand. Um, and the bell push, I believe we're asking around two thousand for that one. But you don't often see these at auction. And we have three. <laughs> what a good start. Uh, a few other bits here. So, so a few of the silver bits, which don't tend to come up again. Um, I mean, uh, I'm not sure if all of the, the people watching these will know what these are, but uh, we'll start on this one here, which is a lovely arts and crafts tea caddy spoon. So these are supposed to be used in um, together. So this is your this is your normal tea caddy, which holds your loose leaf tea, which are always very very popular still. And this is the spoon that you dig out your tea with. <laughs> but that's by a, a really good maker as well, Bernard Instrom. And his caddy spoons tend to make between anywhere between 300 and 800, I think. So that could be one to surprise us. And this is a Porringer. And dates back to 1707. So it's Queen Anne period. 
still in relatively good condition. Again, it's not something you see coming up at auction very often, and they do tend to make quite a few hundred when they do. So this one's in for about, about three to 500, but could make a bit more. All very good quality pieces of silver. And then uncovering what's underneath is probably the largest amount of um, gold coins we've had for a while. I believe there are around 40 or 50 lots of gold coins in this sale, all individually lotted. So we've got Krugerrands, we've got gold Britannia's coins, got gold sovereigns, half sovereigns, Britannia sets, and sovereign sets as well. So you've got double sovereigns and half sovereigns. Tons of gold coins in this sale, really worth a look. They are a big, um, investment opportunity instead of just piling your money in the bank why not put it on gold <laughs> and then a few other bits as well uh, we'll look at the jewelry first before the watches and this is the nice little display i've got out for this time but there really is something for everyone here in this sale and this is probably only about a quarter if that of um, what we have in this sale so there really is something for everyone it's just something you have to come and look at in person but we've got diamond and pearl heart locket pendants so that's got a nice open back to it as well should be three to five hundred nice art deco open work brooch that's probably more close to around a thousand to fifteen hundred that one a nice australian black opal don't usually see those that big and with as much fire as well we've got just over a three carat diamond ring got fire in that one should be around seven or eight thousand that one and then lots to look at on this on this ring pad we've got art deco emerald rings we've got lapis another deco style Aquamarine ring, diamond clusters, cinnamon diamonds up in the back. There's tons to look through. And why not finish it off with a five stone baguette cut diamond ring? <laughs> it's just so much in this sale, it's well worth a look through. There's plenty to browse through on the catalogue with these. And then just the last note with the watches. Gents, I know you've been waiting out for the watches section now. And again, it's something for everyone. So start off with a, a Balm and Mercier. The range is endless. We've got gold, solid 18 karat gold Breitling here. The weight of that is amazing. We've got the, the retro vintage Seikos and an 18 karat gold Rolex day date. And from a different person, is exactly the same watch. <laughs> exactly the same watch, this one. But you get a box with this one. And, where is it? Right at the bottom of the box. A plain gold bezel, <laughs> if you really can't stand the diamonds. <laughs> So I think we have those in this one for between seven and seven and a half thousand, and this one is between seven and a half and eight thousand. So you get a box as well with this one and the extra bezel. Got a fantastic brightling at the front here. I think the the vendor has worn it about three times, had its service last year as well. So it's ready to take out its box and actually be used for once. And that's about two thousand said something for everyone and this is a, a Roma it's a very affordable watch actually it's probably around 100 to 150 but brand new again probably be a couple of hundred if you went to a jeweler for that got a Cartier Roadster again these are all very fashionable luxury watches that you'd be paying fortunes for elsewhere and a lovely Breitling another one there it should be eight to twelve hundred, something like that. 
So, there's plenty. As I said before, in this sale to look through, lots of um, late Christmas presents and all, all those sorts of things. Because um, I know there's still some of you out there as well. <laughs> but um, well worth a look through. So, the viewings for this sale are on uh, this Monday, uh, the Tuesday from 9 till 7. And then the, the antique sale is on the Wednesday, starting at 10. So that's all of the smalls here. And then on the Thursday is the picture sale, starting at 11. Thank you very much. Have a look and um, see what you can find. Thank you.